Hello students, welcome to West Bengal English Medium Guide. Today we are going to solve chapter 1 from class 6 history book. This is your new syllabus of 2024. So I will provide the exercise question answers and also inside question answers from this chapter. Before we start requesting you to like the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get for the notifications from the channel on the right time. If you have missed any video then please check out the description box or playlist. You will find all the videos from there. And if you have any queries then please let me know in the comment box. So let's start. Class 6 History Book Chapter 1 Introduction to History At first, there are some objective type question answers from the chapter number A. Choose the correct Number 1. Which of the following is a period of history for which there are no written records? Answer is number A. Prehistory. Number 2. What is the study of coins known as? Answer is number C. Numismatics. Number 3. Among the following ancient scripts, which script has not been deciphered yet? Answer is number C. Harappa. Number 4. The Vedas, the Buddhist, Tripitakas, the Jain Angas, Ramayana and the Mahabharata are examples of which of this following answer is number A, sacred literature. Number 5. Which of the following is the reference point from which dates are counted? So answer is number A, birth of Jesus Christ. Number B. True or false? Number 1, 2 events for which we have no written records are the discovery of fire and the invention of will. True. Number two, a person who excavates and studies the material remains of the past is known as an archaeologist. True. Number three, the Vedas are an example of secular literature. True. Number four, the study of inscriptions is called numismatics. False. Number five, temples, forts, palaces and other buildings are referred to as artifacts false next we have some fill in the blanks number c number one the study of the past is known as history number two manuscripts were written on palm leaves and on the bark of birch trees number three literary sources refer to written accounts from the past number four monuments coins Tools, weapons, pottery, and jewelry are examples of archaeological sources. Number 5. Abhijnan Sakuntalam by Kalidasa is an example of secular literature. Next, number D. Very short answer. Number 1. Briefly explain the term common era. In short, CE. The term common era refers to the years after the birth of Jesus Christ. CE or AD translates to the year of the Lord. God or Christ, the years in CE are counted forward. Number two, what are manuscripts? Manu means hand, scripts or manuscripts are handwritten records of the past. Number three, define archaeology. Archaeology is the study of materialistic remains of the past. Number four, give three examples of secular sources. Non-religious writing are based under secular literature. These examples are as follows. Artha Shastra by Kautilya. Number 2. Avijnan Sarkuntalam. Number 3. Harsh Charita by Banbhatta. You can read here by Kali Dasa. Avijnan Sarkuntalam. Number E. Short answer type question. Number 1. Why is the study of the past important? The study of the past is important as it helps us to understand how events in the past made things the way they are today. We can learn about our ancestors and how societies was formed in those times. We can learn we can learn about how they lived, they ate, they, uh, their culture, beliefs and faiths. Number 2. How do archaeological factors play an important role in shaping the history of our religion or country? Geographical factors play an important role in shaping the history of our region or country as it helps us 
understand why and how the particular region got its distinct features from and how the physical features such as mountains rivers deserts and deserts limited or facilitated um, the movement of people and goods shipping trade and cultural exchange number 3 what are the causes of cultural diversity the distinct of the indian subcontinent facilitated facilitated the movement of people and goods shipping trade religious leaders traveled to spread their teachings and uh, and rulers marched in with their armies and to conquer and expand it areas people also traveled in order to make new discoveries all these features led to the cultural diversity how are dates calculated in history the dates are cal- counted backwards in bc the bigger the number when the date is bc the uh, the earlier the earlier it happened for example 100 bc comes before 99 bc the years are counted forward in ce hence 99 ce comes before 100 ce number f1 what are the different sources of history there are three different sources of history that help us in understanding the events of the past they are as follows number 1 literary sources literary sources refer to the written records of the past before the introduction of paper documents were written on palm leaves bark of birch trees and dried skin of dead animals these documents were known as manuscripts as they were written using hands manuscripts given information about the social cultural political scientific as well as economic condition of a region literary sources can be further subdivided into two parts namely indigenous and foreign sources indigenous sources refer to the sacred or secular literature writings on religion themes are referred to as sacred or religious literature like the ramayana the mahabharata etc writings on renowned religion themes are referred to as secular literature like work on different subjects like arthashastra by chanakya panchatantra by vishnu gupta etc number 2 archaeological sources the study of the material materialistic remains of the past are known as archaeology the archaeological remains are excavated by the archaeological from under the ground some important archaeological sources are inscriptions tool and weapons pottery paintings sculptures jewelry buildings coins temples forts etc oral sources there are the sources of information that is passed down through the years by mouth they can include songs stories myth or myths legends etc number 2 what are the types of literary sources literary sources can be classified into indigenous and foreign sources or works next point indigenous works include works of indian writers last point foreign works include text by foreigners who visited india of some time or the other and recorded their experiences literary sources last point literary sources can be further divided into sacred and secular literature number 3 what are archaeological sources explain how archaeologists use sources to reconstruct the past archaeological sources refer to the objects such as monuments coins pottery jewelry paintings tools weapons etc from the past that have survived till now material remains of in lie buried under the ground and the archaeologists have to excavate or dig them out to reconstruct the past now number g differentiate between history and prehistory history is the study of the past which has a systematic record or study of the past events in chronological order prehistory prehistory refers to the period of which a period for which we have no written records next 
डिफरेंस बिटवीन मैनोस्क्रिप्ट एंड इंस्क्रिप्शन नंबर वन दे आर द रिटर्न दैट मीन्स लिटररी सोर्सेस ऑफ द पास्ट हियर नंबर वन दे दे आर द मेटेरियल्स दैट मीन्स आर्कियोलॉजिकल सोर्सेस ऑफ द पास्ट नंबर टू दीज आर रिटर्न ऑन बाग्स ऑफ ट्रीज पाम लीव्स एंड ड्राइड एनिमल्स स्किन नंबर टू दीज आर दीज वेर इन ग्रेफ्ट और कार्वड ऑन हार्ड सर्फेसेस लाइक स्टोन पिलर्स वॉल्स ऑफ टेम्पल्स एट्सेट्रा नंबर थ्री दीज की गेव इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स लाइक मेडिसिन साइंस रिलीजन ट्रेडिशन एंड कल्चरल एंड हेयर नंबर थ्री दिस इन्फॉर्मास अबाउट द विक्ट्रीज ऑफ किंग्स इन बैटल्स एक्सटेंट ऑफ देयर एम्पायर द स्क्रिप्ट दे यूज लास्ट वन नंबर थ्री डिफरेंस बिटवीन आर्कियोलॉजिकल सोर्सेस एंड लिटररी सोर्सेस नंबर वन आर्कियोलॉजिकल सोर्सेस रेफर टू ऑब्जेक्ट्स सच एज मोनूमेंट्स क्वाइंस पॉटरी ज्वेलरी पेंटिंग्स टूल्स वीपन्स एट्सेट्रा फ्रॉम द पास दैट हैव सर्वाइव टिल नाउ एंड अंडर लिटररी सोर्सेज नंबर वन लिटररी सोर्सेज रेफर टू द रिटर्न रिकॉर्ड्स ऑफ द पास्ट सो द वीडियो विल गो टू लेंथी इफ आई गिव यू द एक्स्ट्रा क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर सो आई विल प्रोवाइड दिस एक्स्ट्रा क्वेश्चन आंसर्स फ्रॉम दिस चैप्टर इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो सो डोंट फॉर गेट टू लाइक द वीडियो सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकॉन टू गेट फॉर द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम द चैनल ऑन द राइट टाइम इफ यू हैव एनी क्वारीज एंड प्लीज लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट बॉक्स एंड इफ यू हैव मिस्ड एनी वीडियो दैन प्लीज चेक आउट द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स एंड प्ले लिस्ट यू विल गेट ऑल द नोटिफिकेशन फ्रॉम दियर So that's all for today. See you soon with a new video. Till then, take care and bye.